This is Kate from Isalicious Designs and today I'm going to be showing you how to make a Batman bracelet. You're going to need two colours, black and flesh tone, and you're going to need some little beads. I've got little black beads that I've threaded onto black bands, one each, and then I've tied the band in a knot after I've had the black bean threaded on black bean, black bead threaded onto it. I find that just pops it out a little bit. So the configuration of the loom is a single loom and columns one and three are the same height. Column two is a little bit taller and we're going to be double banding which means you take two bands and you place them across the peg as if they were one. So we will start Okay, we're going to put an end cap on this one, on this little middle one here. So take a single band and wrap it around two, three times and pop that on there. We're going to put our eyes. Now, because I'm using the tiny little beads, they're a size six, I put them diagonally each on their own single band. If I was using a larger bead, I would place them both on one band and I would stretch them across. So it depends on the type of bead that you're using as to where the placement should be. We're going to use crossover bands of a single black band and make it into a, sh a shape of a triangle up here and also down here. We're now going to do black bands all the way from here to the bottom of the loom. Double banding. Okay, we're going to do a slight extension and by doing that we're going to take a single band and wrap our hook run at once, twice, three times and four times. Take a double band and slide that on. Reclaim the end of your bands and take another two bands and slide all of those on. Reclaim and we'll pop that on the bottom here almost as if it was a foot. Going to do the same for the other side, a single band, wrap it once, twice, three times and four times, take a double band and slide that on, reclaim and then take another two bands, and we'll do the same thing, slide it on, reclaim and we'll pop that on the end of this one. Now we need to do some ears our superhero. I'm going to use a smaller hook for the ears, a 
what I like to do for these is take a single band and stretch it into a figure eight, pop my hook through, wrap it once and twice. Take another single band, figure eight, and we're going to slide that on like that. Reclaim the end, take another figure, ooh, take another single band, stretch it out, figure eight, and we're just going to slide that on like so. And we are going to attach that to our loom right here, pointing upwards. We're going to do the same on the other side. Stretch it out, figure eight, hook through once and twice. Take a single band, stretch it out, figure eight, loop it on itself and slide those onto it. Reclaim and now we're going to do the same again. A single band, stretch out, figure eight, loop it on itself and let's move those bands onto it into the middle. Reclaim the end of your hook and we're going to pop that here like that. We're now ready to start looming. So going down to the bottom here, pull the foot that's not a foot back to expose those two bottom black bands and loom up. Do the same on the other side and loom up. sneaky one nearly got away from me there put those back and there is that little dropped band ha let's put him back on before we grab these two there we go that would have been fun not Now we're going to stop here because we're going to go across, go underneath that end cap and grab the two top bands, hold the end cap in place and wiggle those bands out, same on the other side, cross them over, grab these two beige skin tone bands and we are going to be looming them across here. Now I've got a black band in there as well so I'll put that back. Go down here, just the beige face tone bands, skin tone bands. Now we're going to loom up and up. One more up just grab the bottom two bands, you're pushing the others out of the way with the back of your hook. And we're going to go down here, loom this up. This is very tight. There's a lot of bands on there. Dig all the way down until you can find the last two bottom black ones. Gently wiggle them up. If you need to, put your hook in and move it around the outside of that peg so that you can release some of the pressure. Dig down past the end cap, past the eyes, and find the bottom two black bands to loom in. Straighten up our ears how we want them. Okay, we're here. Dig down past the eyes. Grab the two black bands and loom them up. Now what we're going to do is grab two black bands push our hook down the middle and poke it out the side put our two black bands on our hook and swivel our hook so that the smooth side goes against these bands and doesn't snag anything another one these are official rainbow loom bands and they are all breaking on me I just opened the packet 
not very impressed. Try that with some different. There we go. Grab the two top ones up, over, and off, and pull tight. We're going to take this off the loom. I use the back of a crochet hook to help me. If you are going to be pulling this off your loom, be really, really careful. And also, try and go with the flow of the loom. So, uh, what I mean by that is, there are some smooth surfaces, a smooth, rounded surface up here. If you pull it that way, you're going to be just pulling against the smooth surface. Whereas if you pull this way, you're going to be snagging things on these little open parts of the uh, peg and you're much more likely to get a broken band pulling it that way than over the smooth side. Pull that off, straighten it out a bit, make the ears in the right direction. <laughs> okay. So first of all, I'm going to take these two black tie-off bands and what I'm going to do is discreetly move them down the back of the uh, Batman face by hiding them under existing bands that we have here. Now they have been tied off into a slip knot, so they're pretty secure, but I don't really want them as obvious as they were on the top of the head. So I'm going to just move them to here and I'm going to use an S clip and I'm going to attach my S clip to these. One and two. I'm just going to leave that there because the mouth is going to be attached to the other side. So Grab a single black band for the mouth and what we're going to do is stab him from the back of the head forward and pull that through, oh, I didn't pull it through far enough. Grab the band and pull it to the back like that. And I'm going to just attach that to the S clip now while I have it here. Like that. So the other side we're going to go directly across and poke it through the same spot but on the other side of the face and pull it through and attach it to your clip like that. Now we need to secure these ends of our bracelet and for that I have been using what's called a Q-clip. A Q-clip is a new type of clip where the clip actually locks into place. They come in a variety of different colours. Their first ones I believe were a neon. You could get neon orange, yellow, green, blue, purple, pink and uh, they've just started making clear ones which is fantastic because not every bracelet is going to be neon and funky. Alright, so pulling this back you attach your bands to your clip. Hey, get back there. There we go. I was being a bit of a muppet. Okay, so we push this down and to the side and it clips into place. Like that. Now, that is Batman. What I like to do, or what I did with my first one that I made, was... I'm just going to pretty his mouth up a little bit so he doesn't look so jolly. He's a bit of a dare old chap, is dear Batman. I have a silver sharpie, and what I did was I got the eyes just to where I wanted them, just by pulling them out and poking them around and whatnot. And then I did 
a little horizontal line on each of them to sort of show a slit that he's looking through. And there is our Batman bracelet. I'd love to see how yours turn out. Please post them to our Facebook page. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.